Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video, I am going to introduce you with one very popular dataset widely used in machine learning algorithm and that is iris dataset. Okay, so there are majorly three types of iris flower. If you check in internet, you will be getting these three types iris versicolor, iris setosa and iris virginica. Now in many machine learning algorithm, we will use this dataset which has majorly four features one is sepal length another one is sepal width another one is petal length another one is petal width okay so sepal is this one petal is this one of this iris flower and based on that we will try to classify which flower is belonging to which category and so on okay so in matlab it is directly available in matlab database just you need to write load fisher iris okay so let me just run this particular part of the code and see in the workspace two variables we have got one is mias another one is species if you double click on this one new variable column will open where you will be having the data set okay you can see there are four columns okay first column is belonging to sepal length next one sepal width next one petal length next one petal width okay if you double click on species you will be having that corresponding row is belonging to which species setosa then here you will be getting versicolor, then there is presence of virginica also, okay, right. So, here in this particular video, I am, as I have not discussed any machine learning algorithm till now in this particular playlist, so what I will do, I will be simply showing correlation between two different features, okay. Suppose I am considering sepal length, another one I am considering petal length, okay. Now, sepal length is in first column, petal length is in third column four columns order is sepal length sepal width petal length petal width okay so what i am doing i am extracting the sepal length column and petal length column now as those are column matrix and in our algorithm we have uh, previously shown using row matrix okay so what we will do we will take one simple transpose that's all and then apply the same algorithm which i have shown you for calculating the correlation and covariance no need to explain separately right same code will be posted in the description box. You can take from there and apply in your MATLAB experiments. Okay. So if I write CORR, I'll be having the correlation coefficient between sepal length and petal length as 0 0.8718. Okay. And if I write covariance, I'll be having 1.2743. Both clearly indicates that the sepal length and petal length are positively correlated that means they move in same direction if the sepal length increases petal length will also increase if the sepal length decreases the petal length will also decrease but as you know from the theoretical discussion always we should focus on correlation instead of covariance because uh, covariance is scale dependent okay if you multiply 2 with all the values of the sepal length and multiply 2 with all the values of the petal length then in that case covariance value will change but the correlation value will remain unchanged right I have shown you while discussing the correlation concept that the correlation is independent of scaling. That's why we prefer correlation, uh, correlation over covariance, right? So, this is what about correlation coefficient in between sepal length and sepal width. Now, there is a problem. This particular transpose we are taking, okay, because our code is restricted only uh, in case of row matrix our code is applicable why not make it general okay that is anything you give our code should give output polar matrix row matrix does not matter where is the problem in applying this particular column and row the problem is appearing here x into y transpose okay if you interchange the order here you will be getting problem what is this basically this is basically computing summation over x minus x bar into y minus y bar that is the numerator term of the covariance matrix and then we are getting covariance using uh, this particular variable divided by n minus 1 that is length of x minus 1 so we can write in some other way this particular line how we can write See the formula of covariance is summation over x minus x bar into y minus y bar by n minus 1 so summation for that sum okay x minus x bar y minus y bar multiply individually element by element 
already we have subtracted x minus x bar y minus y bar we already have that is this x and y are basically the sepal length and petal length by subtracting their respective mean values only okay so what we can do x dot star y that's all because dot star computes element by element multiplication and then we are taking sum so if you apply this one it does not matter whether you are taking row matrix or column matrix in your input see i am running the code so i am writing cova same value for same value now instead of as i have taken here transpose let me take the sorry let me just remove the transpose part and now i am taking column matrix okay now also same output we are getting okay so this particular code if you write like this sum of x dot star y this will become independent whether you are giving row matrix or column matrix as input right so i hope you have understood this same code will be posted in the description box this is all for my this video thank you for watching